a pilot uh, and flies his own uh, security uh, Airster S-1 through the skies of California. Uh, by this time, Edgar Rice Burroughs has uh, begun his third major series of science fiction fantasy books, the Pelu Sadar novels. Uh, these are based on the hollow earth theory of John Cleves Sims. Uh, this concept, well, earth, uh, is a hollow spherical shell uh, with a habitable internal conclave accessible through caves or openings at the poles. Uh, the hollow earth is a significant motif in science fiction fantasy. Uh, Sims lifted his theory from the astronomer Edmund Haley, uh, of course of Haley's Comet fame. Uh, Haley published a paper uh, for the Royal Society in 1692, uh, which stated that the earth consisted of concentric nested spheres uh, surrounding a small internal central sun with openings at the poles. Uh, John Cleve Sims, a U.S. Army Cavalry officer, uh, captain, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, who distinguished himself in the War of 1812, uh, then revitalizes and publicizes Haley's theory uh, of concentric spheres and polar openings, and basically devotes his life to charismatic speeches on the hollow earth uh, a concept. Uh, Sims even twice petitions Congress for funds uh, to, uh, well, mount an expedition uh, to the interior of the Earth, but fails. Uh, his uh, health eventually deteriorates uh, from the endless lecture tours, uh, and Sims dies rather young. Now, Burroughs' uh, Pellucidar series of books uh, at the Earth's core, 1922, uh, Pellucidar, 1925, uh, Jannar, uh, Pellucidar, 1929, Tarzan at the Earth's Core, uh, 1930, which is a very notable overlap uh, when the two series merge. This is a really good book. I highly recommend you read it. Uh, Back to the Stone Age, 1937, and Land of Terror, 1944, uh, followed by uh, Savage Pelusidar, 1946, feature the best of Edgar Rice Burroughs' locales, uh, a world without time. Uh, in which dinosaurs and beast men roam forever. Uh, it's the perfect setting for bloodthirsty romantic adventures. Uh, Pellucidar is a hidden lost world at the Earth's core uh, that is discovered by an adventurer, uh, David Inez, uh, who then struggles to carve out a civilization uh, out of its Stone Age backwardness and endless perils. Uh, he eventually embarks on a quest for a beautiful kidnapped empress, uh, the cave woman uh, Dian, uh, and uses his knowledge of science against the many monsters of Pellucidar. Uh, the adventurer reaches the lost world uh, in the first novel at the Earth's core by piercing the crust of the Earth with a burrowing device, a type of mechanical mole, uh, then travels 500 miles uh, down towards the center of the Earth and breaks into a strange inner world. Uh, a world of eternal day, uh, a hidden land in which prehistoric animals still survive, and cavemen and cave women battle fierce inhuman reptile masters uh, known as the monstrous Mayhars. Uh, by the time of the third novel, uh, Tanar of Pellucidar, uh, sea pirates known as Corsars terrorize the oceans of Pellucidar, uh, while dinos and saber toothed tigers, of course, terrorize the land. Uh, David Inez who has carved out an empire for himself and is now king, along with his cavemen and cavewomen hordes, struggle for survival uh, and try to find the kidnapped Tanar uh, and his main squeeze, Stellara, uh, as well as out with the Kosar pirates. Uh, by the next installment, Savage Pellucidar, uh, David Inez and his empress Dion uh, introduce aeronautics, uh, and they use homemade aircraft against the untamed tribes and unexplored lands of Pellucidar. In the land of terror, uh, David Inez, the discoverer of the inner world, disappears, exploring new territories. Uh, his cavemen followers set out in search of him under the leadership of the beautiful cave woman queen uh, known as Dion the Beautiful. Uh, David is, in fact, the captive of the fierce warrior women of Oog, who ride gigantic ants capture men, 
uh, well, and then enjoy eating them. Uh, eating them not in the good sense. Uh, Tarzan at the uh, Earth's Core is the crossover novel and continuation of the Land of Terror storyline. Uh, Pelia Sadar uh, sends a message to Tarzan asking for help. Uh, David Inez, Emperor of Pelia Sadar, has managed to get away uh, from the beautiful but cannibalistic warrior women of Oog, uh, but is now imprisoned. Uh, in a Kosar pirate dungeon. Uh, Tarzan, who is used to the dangers of darkest Africa, heeds the call for help, and the jungle lord will need all his skills uh, of the jungle, all his talents with the beasts, just to stay alive. Uh, Tarzan organizes an expedition uh, and sets off at once for the nearest polar entrance. Uh, he speeds through the jungles of Africa. Uh, upon arrival, uh, he becomes separated and Tarzan must now face the terrors of this unknown land all alone. Uh, the Lost World of Pellucidar, uh, the secret and mysterious continent accessed by the opening in the poles, a lost world that has been forgotten by humanity, is also utilized by Edgar Rice Burroughs uh, in another unconnected uh, series of novels called the Carpona series. Uh, these include The Land That Time Forgot and Out of Time's Abyss. Uh, this is another lost continent, Carpona, uh, where the world's uh, savage past still lives. Uh, the lost world scenario, uh, enclaves of mystery, uh, unknown territories, lost cities, and lost races, uh, basically uh, is fully developed uh, by H. Ryder Haggard uh, in his novel, which is, I believe, 1881, uh, She. Uh, this uh, lost race idea... Uh, this hidden, hollow earth really begins with Lord Lighton uh, and his amazing book, uh, The Coming Race, which I believe is 1871. Uh, but Haggard really fully develops the genre. Uh, he brings it to full bloom. Uh, and Edgar Rice Burroughs' Lost World series of books takes it one step further. Uh, Haggard's Amazonian-like queen, Aisha, uh, who is imperious, cruel, and desirable, uh, the ultimate she-devil, uh, is an archetype that is abundant in the novels of H. Ryder Haggard. Uh, but in Edgar Rice Burroughs, the she-devil becomes tamed by love. Uh, Burroughs is unrepentantly romantic, uh, and the beautiful but dangerous, highly erotic queen or high priestess uh, is always tamed by the super-masculine hero. Uh, women in the romantic adventure novels of Edgar Rice Burroughs, are defined by their relationship to the male protagonist. Uh, objects to be desired or feared, rescued or destroyed. Uh, the women in H. Ryder, uh, uh, excuse me, the women in uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs validates the male protagonist, uh, well, as macho, as masculine, uh, and as uber, heterosexual. Uh, the Amazonian queen or high priestess uh, who is sexually desirable, uh, but terrifying at the same time, uh, who may be beautiful outside, uh, but is wounded and dark inside, in the Edgar Rice Burroughs novels always needs rescuing, uh, and the Edgar Rice Burroughs hero always falls in love with the regal woman, saving her soul and pleasuring her body at the same time. Uh, by the early 1930s, Edgar Rice Burroughs is the world's most successful and wealthiest author.